Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about the given problem from digital logic design by M. Morris Mano textbook. Convert each of the following to the other canonical form. Canonical means each term in a Boolean expression should represent with the help of all input variables. Now let us see the first Boolean function f of xyz equal to sigma 135. Second equation is f of abcd equal to pi of 35811. The first expression which is in the form of SOP. The second expression is in the form of POS because sigma is the operator for SOP and pi is the operator for POS. SOP means sum of the products. POS means product of the sums. Now let us start with the first equation. This is the first Boolean expression f of xyz equal to sigma 135. So to write in canonical form, we have to expand the given Boolean expression with the help of the input variables. Okay. Therefore, f of x, y, z equal to, here 1 means the equivalent binary is 0, 0, 1. Because 3 input variables, so that 3 bits are required. Okay. Based on the binary weights, 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4 means 2 power 0, 2 power 1 and 2 power 2. Okay. Now, for the equivalent value 3, the binary is 0, 1, 1. 5, the equivalent binary is 1, 0, 1. Okay. So, 0, 0, 1 means for SOP form, 0 means complement of the input variable, 1 means normal form of the input variable. Therefore, 0, 0, 1 means it is x dash, y dash, z. Similarly, x dash, y, z. This is x, y dash, z. So now we should write the SOP form using these three product terms. Sigma means a summation operator so that we have to add all these product terms, which is equal to x dash y dash z plus x dash y z plus x y dash z. This is a canonical SOP form. Okay. For this expression, we should write the POS also. So to write the POS, first we should write the max term numbers. The missing numbers in min term numbers are max term numbers. Therefore, it should be represented as pi of 0, 2, 4 and 6. Because here the largest number is 5. 5 means only 3 bits are required. 2 power 3 equal to 8. So, 2 power 3 combinations of min terms are available. So, out of these 8, we have to take 0 to 7 only. So, 1, 3, 5 are min term numbers. So, that the max term numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6. Pi is the product operator. Okay. Now we should expand in canonical form as 0. 0 means the equivalent binary is 0, 0, 0. Next 2. 2 means 0, 1, 0. 4. 1, 0, 0. 6. 1, 1, 0. Here these are product terms for SOP. Okay. In the same way, we should write the sum terms for max terms. While writing the sum terms for max term numbers, 0 means normal form of the input variable and 1 means complement form of the variable. Whereas for SOP, 0 means complement form, 1 means normal form of the variable, right? Now, we should write the 0, 0, 0 sum term is x plus y plus z normal forms of input variables. Here, 0 means x plus 1 means y dash plus z. Here it is x dash plus y plus z. It is x dash plus y dash plus z. So these are max term numbers. Now we should multiply all these sum terms because it is in POS form. POS means product of the sums. Okay. X plus y plus z into the second sum term x plus y dash plus z into x dash plus y plus z into x dash plus y dash plus z. Okay. So, this is the canonical POS form for the first bit. Now, for the part B, f of a, b, c, d equal to pi of 3, 5, 8, 11. So, the given Boolean expression is in the form of POS because pi is the operator for POS, which specifies the operation of product of some terms. To write the given Boolean expression in canonical form, first we should represent each max term number in the form of binary. First, we should write the binary. So, the binary weights required are 4 binary weights. So, based on these 4 binary weights, it should be represented as 0, 0, 1, 1. 5 means 0, 1, 0, 1. 8 means 1, 0, 0, 0. 11 means 1, 0, 1, 1. 
now we should write the equivalent sometimes okay so whenever we are writing the sometimes zero means normal form of the input variable one means complement form of the variable zero zero one one means so this is a a plus b plus c dash plus d dash this is a a plus b dash plus c plus d dash here it is a a dash plus b plus c plus d a dash plus b plus c dash plus d dash okay so these are the sum terms of the given boolean expression now we should write the canonical form of a pos f pos of a b c d equal to product of sum terms so that means we have to product all these sum terms therefore a plus b plus c dash plus d dash a dash plus b plus c dash d dash this is the canonical pos the same way we should write the FSOP also. To write the FSOP of ABCD, we should write the minimum numbers from the given Boolean expression. Okay. The minimum numbers should be represented with the operator sigma. The minimum numbers means missing maximum numbers are the minimum numbers. Okay. So 0, 1, 2, 4, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So to write the canonical SOP form. First, we should represent each and every midterm with the help of a binary and then write the equivalent product terms. For SOP, 0 means complement form, 1 means normal form. For the midterm number 0, based on 1, 2, 4, 8 binary weights, the equivalent binary is 0, 0, 0, 0. Next, for 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Similarly, we should write the remaining numbers. Now, we should write the equivalent product term. Okay. 0 means complement form. Therefore, A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar. Similarly, A bar, B bar, C bar, D. In the same way, we should write the remaining product term also. Now, we should add all these product terms to write the canonical SOP form. Therefore, F of SOP of A, B, C, D equal to A dash, B dash, C dash, D plus A dash, B dash, C dash, D plus the remaining product terms. S U B C B. So this is the canonical SOP form. So this is the solution for a given problem. I hope you understand this problem. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel DLD Quest. Thank you.